Have you ever wondered how international trade finance is evolving in today's world? In this article, we'll explore how Russian commodity firms are turning to cryptocurrency to circumvent financial hurdles posed by international sanctions. In recent years, traditional banking channels have been facing challenges, making it difficult for companies to conduct business internationally. This has led to the adoption of stable points, notably Tether, to facilitate seamless and swift cross-border transactions with their Chinese counterparts. Uh, major Russian metal producers have primarily adopted this transition, seeking efficient alternatives to conventional financial systems to maintain their trading operations. Um, with the appeal of using stable coins like Tether's, uh, USDT uh, lies in their ability to facilitate transactions quickly and cheaply. As disclosed, the use of cryptocurrencies in trade finance is gaining traction among unsanctioned firms and as a broader practice in countries facing financial restrictions or dollar liquidity issues. This highlights a growing recognition of cryptocurrencies potential to serve as a reliable medium for substantial international transactions, especially in environments where traditional financial systems pose considerable operational challenges. Uh, meanwhile, integrating cryptocurrencies into Russia's trade mechanisms also signifies a change in the country's regulatory stance towards digital assets. The Russian Central Bank initially skeptical and shifted its view, recognizing the potential benefits of cryptocurrencies in circumventing financial barriers. Uh, strategic advisors like Gabor Gerbix from Tether and Vanek have advocated for the broader adoption of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin by central banks, especially for those countries experiencing fiat currency uh, devaluation. Gerbeck suggests that adding Bitcoin to national reserves could provide economic stability and diversification proposing that countries start allocating a small percentage to cryptocurrencies and gradually increasing the holdings. So with that said, thanks for watching. And until next time, remember that cryptocurrency is not going anywhere.